afternoon, everybody. Uh, testing out an edge today that I took to the Dota Creek and I used a progression of slurries on the stone until uh, I took it all the way down to nothing and then finished it on the Dota Creek with oil. And here's the razor here. It's a Heinrich Schoenbrunn. I think I'm saying it right, I don't know. But yeah, it's a German Adolf Hitler razor, so uh, I'll be using that today. Gonna go with Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations today. This is coconut oud. And uh, I'm just gonna splash some hot water on this here. Make some lather. So, I hope I didn't offend anybody with that Adolf Hitler joke. Uh, we all know that more likely than not, Adolf Hitler used a DE. So, all right, just put this on here. This is one of my favorite soaps here. It's um, I've been using it a lot more lately. I've been through a a tub of this coconut oud. I just got a sample this time because I got a uh, tub of the hot leather, hot leather um, scent, and I got a couple other samples from her. It's good stuff, though. You know, it's kind of like the cyber truck of shave soaps. The other day, I forgot to put aftershave on, and after using this soap and hour later I noticed my skin felt amazing so this stuff here is almost like putting some lotion on your face or something yeah, it's just about there Sometimes I stir it like this right before I put it on. That really gets it going. All right. Oh, there we go. You can see it stiffening up there. There. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll go with that. Lost a little bit <clears throat> right here. <clears throat> Hope everyone had a a great Thanksgiving. And everybody feels a little fatter than they did before Thanksgiving. I know I do. <clears throat> Even if they say fat's not a feeling. I feel fat. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's my edge. Good stuff. I think uh, if I had to choose a soap, if I had to choose one soap to shave with, and I couldn't shave with another one, I'd probably use this stuff. There we go.
don't know if you call this a Japanese edge or, or what, you know? Use the Japanese, it's a Japanese slurry edge on a stone mined in Arkansas. It's cutting right through. Very nice. Now this razor here, super easy to sharpen. The geometry on it, it's amazing. And uh, after you use it about four or five times, it goes dull. So it's like really, uh, I think it's got some soft metal. Probably a, a German boy's razor, I imagine. It's good for cutting the peach fuzz off. Probably a discount razor, something. But it's a good razor if you hone your on the edge because it always does a pretty good job right off the stone. This is a pretty good method, I think, using the Dota Creek as a substrate and use a slurry progression on it. I've done it before with the uh, gold dollars. It's like an exotic edge, but it's smooth and sharp. Huh. Let's clean it up good. Probably just do a two passer. I stress it, you know, it's pretty damn close. Switch hands. I'll go crossed. No, I'm going to go up. Not bad. So, this is a method I might use again. A residual. Let's go. A little cleanup over here. It's quiet. That's a quiet.
bite edge there. All right, we're done shaving. All right, so where's my aftershave here? Oh yeah, there it is. Got a little something special here. I'm gonna put this on today, little Elon. People like to fast forward to this part of my videos. They just like to see me torch myself. Yes, that's how good it was. So you guys have a great day. Thank you.